Hey, hope you're doing well out there, gang. Kawaii 5 here with another FGO video, and it's time to talk about this second batch of Summer Servants, and of course, we are kicking this off with the one that I wanted the most, but failed to get. But it is what it is that's not gonna make me not make this video. We're gonna talk about Summer, comma, and hopefully you were able to summon her if you were going for her. So we're going to look over her best allies, craft essences, and command codes to try to ensure that she will be a completely essential Avenger on your team. Hopefully this video ends up helping you out. And if it does, be sure to go ahead, like, and subscribe, because that really helps me out. Honestly, it does. Avenger Kama comes equipped with two quick, two arts, and one buster card with an AOE arts noble phantasm. The most notable thing regarding her stats is her max attack. Sitting at 13,213, this is the second highest attack stat for any servant in the entire game. And it gets absolutely crazy considering the potential Kama has for farming. We'll let you know right at the jump, Kama Kama is designed to be an arts farmer, but it is her ability to also perform well in challenge quests that ends up making her a very valuable servant overall. She may be hitting for neutral damage a lot of the time, but the amount of damage she'll be doing will be so high that class advantage may not even matter. With a solid few hits on her arts cards and ability to arts brave chain with a 0.52% NP per hit, Kama is going to be able to dish out some fantastic damage. Unfortunately, her star absorption is fairly low. Summer Kama's first skill is Makara Floating Rank A. This gives her a 20 to 30% increase to her arts card effectiveness for three turns and also provides a nice additional boost of a two time evade for three turns. This is generally what you would expect out of an arts card effectiveness boost on a servant, and the evade is just a little bit of extra icing on the cake that can actually help Kama out when it comes to fighting bosses. Since this already starts at like a 20% and we only get a 10% boost on this overall, we're gonna go ahead and max this skill last. Not that it's not important, just other skills gain far more from leveling them up. Summer Kama's second skill is Hollow Evil Rank EX. This grants her three turns of 10 to 20% extra Noble Phantasm damage. And in true Kama fashion, this has a chance to apply charm to all enemies for one turn. You're gonna get an extra 50 to 100% chance to charm your opponents. We are going to go ahead and max this second because as is the nice little bonus when it comes to using Kama, well, if your enemy is charmed, she is going to be dealing extra damage to them. So let's go ahead and pump up that chance while we can. And Kama's final skill is Midsummer Sea Mara rank EX. This grants her that 30 to 50% Noble Phantasm charge that we love to see on all of our farmers, regardless of their primary card. This also inflicts a stat debuff called Flame of Love when Kama normal attacks. If Kama is able to apply Flame of Love, this deals extra damage to her opponents by 10% per stack. And this can actually get completely out of hand when it comes to fighting bosses and is one of the main reasons that Kama performs so well against them. This would be okay if it ended up maxing out at say, you know, three or something like that, but this maxes out at 10, which means you're getting an additional 100% damage against whoever has the flame of love stacks. This is entirely necessary and we want to be able to both charge that Noble Phantasm gauge as well as stack Flame of Love against bosses whenever possible. So this becomes our priority one skill to level. When it comes to Kama's append skills, extra attack boost ends up being the first one we want to get, especially if you plan to actually use your Kama against bosses. The extra damage, the extra NP gain, the extra star gen, all of these things are very, very good for her. Load magical energy continues to be great on every single character in the game. Kama is no exclusion. With a maxed out third skill and this maxed out, you are starting with a 70% Noble Phantasm gauge with no craft essence equipped. Now, 
And what you just saw there was Kama's Noble Phantasm that you will see for the first and second ascensions. I'm not going to show the third ascension here, just on the off chance that YouTube forces me to re-edit this video. Damn you, YouTube. This Noble Phantasm deals 450 to 750% damage to all enemies and decreases the defense for all enemies for three turns. So on the off chance this NP doesn't kill them, you're going to be dealing additional damage with comma the overcharge effect is in the form of super effective bonus damage against an enemy that is charmed now you can see why that second skill is so important as is the case with every noble phantasm in this game the np1 to np2 jump is the most significant in terms of multipliers so if you pulled an np2 comma you're going to be pretty cozy when it comes to damage this noble phantasm is excellent for both farming as well as as bosses because of the extra defense reduction that it gets. It's just all around a great Noble Phantasm. With Kama being focused around being a main damage dealer, that makes our ally selection fairly slim. We are going to want to give her the best support possible, so this makes Castoria our most viable option. You can of course pair Kama with basically anybody that grants a Noble Phantasm damage boost or any sort of arts card effectiveness, but Castoria is going to remain your best possible option for both farming as well as challenge quests. So let's talk craft essences. Kama fans actually are going to get a pretty great freebie craft essence from the event she is featured in in the form of Ocean Flyer. This grants arts card effectiveness, NP strength, and a starting NP gauge all around an amazing CE, especially a free one for Kama fans to use. If you happen to still have Painting Summer, you can go ahead and use that one as well. This grants arts card effectiveness, NP gain, and a starting NP gauge. Go ahead and use this if you didn't happen to get Ocean Flyer, or if you happen to get Kama after her event showed up, maybe from a GSSR banner or something like that, and you are watching this video in the future. If you're looking for the highest multiplier on Noble Phantasm damage, well, the Black Grail still remains the absolute best option. 60 to 80 percent is an insane multiplier, and that 500 HP per turn you lose is essentially nothing. I would also like to recommend Mark on a Smiling Face. This grants Arts Card Effectiveness, NP Gain, and NP Strength. If you are comfortable with the amount of NP Gauge that Kama is going to be able to charge, this is probably going to be your best bet when it comes to fighting bosses. And finally, command codes. This first one I wanted to see on basically all commas that I've seen during my support reviews. And the same is going to be said for this comma as well if you're moving over to using her primarily. The Spear of Love, Action, and Wisdom increases damage against enemies with the charm status by 20%. This is absolutely excellent on one of commas arts cards. And you can go ahead and use this to deal some extra damage with that arts card if you feel so inclined. I also want to recommend Empress of the Hanging Gardens. This increases NP damage and grants critical stars whenever you attack with the engraved card. This can be excellent for pumping up Kama's damage if you are looking to go ahead and farm with her. Just chuck that arts card right before you use her Noble Phantasm. Going beyond that, we basically are going to want to look at utility on the rest of Kama's cards. Some masters might be tempted to put Star Absorb on her cards, but I advise against that just because her star weight is so low. Those command codes are going to be better served on other servants in your arsenal with a star weight closer to or exceeding 100. Kama's is 20 something. It's not going to be very effective on her. So go ahead and give her something like the White Vessels command seal to go ahead and cleanse any debuff she may receive, any sort of debuff cleanse on any of Kama's other cards is going to be very, very good when it comes to keeping her alive in boss fights. I would also like to recommend on her quick card, give her something like Code Glitter, basically any star drop rate you can muster, so maybe she might possibly be able to crit someday.
Overall, gang, Avenger Kama is awesome and absolutely worth summoning for if you need a powerful Avenger on your arsenal. If you are lacking an Arts Farmer, Kama is one of the best ones you can possibly get in the game, so you should definitely go for her if you really need an Arts Farmer on your team. She also performs very well against bosses, so you will get some mileage out of her both in challenge quests as well as the story quests as well. If you already happen to have a powerful Arts Farmer, on your team, Kama isn't necessarily going to bring you anything new. You will likely still be able to use your regular Arts Farmer without summoning Kama and perform just as well as you have previously. But if they're maybe maxed out on Bond, you want somebody else you can go ahead and use for Arts Farming, Kama is well worth the summon. And that's my look at Kama, but I also want to know what you all think. So let me know your thoughts on Summer Kama down in the comment section below. Let me know if there are any allies, craft essences, or command codes you think I might have missed. And let me know if you were able to summon her on her banner, or if you just ended up unlucky like me. Of course, as you head down into the comment section, please please consider checking out things in the description like the Discord server link, the Patreon, and the Ko-fi. Huge thanks to everyone on those platforms for their support. And of course, a massive thank you to all of you on YouTube as well for your support. It's because of your support that I continue to make these videos. And I really appreciate seeing all the positive comments and seeing that people have shared stuff and all that. It not only helps the channel, but it does make me feel good as well. So thank you very much. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii50. I hope you all have a phenomenal day. And one last thank you. Thank you all for helping us su exceed, eh, succeed, 8,000 subscribers on this channel. Never thought I would get that high. We are well on our way to hitting the 10K goal that I really, really would like to hit. So thank you to everyone who made the 8K possible. That is fantastic. Have a phenomenal day. And I'll see you all in the next one.